Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you the laptop motherboard components and parts. Basically I'm going to show you many components step by step and of course I'm going to explain to you how to test some of this component using the multimeter. But first don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell icon if you enjoyed the video. So let's get started. So as you can see, the first component that we are gonna see is the inductor as you can see. This is inductor or coil. So if you find this kind of component in every motherboard means inductor as you can see. It has basically two terminals. So this is two inductors near to the processor, means two channels. Here we have MOSFETs. These two components are MOSFETs as you can see. Okay. Those also are MOSFET with 8P. So here as you can see we have PQ22 and PQ21. Okay. So here we have another inductor as you can see. So this is capacitors. This is a polarized capacitor. As you can see we have here plus and minus. Okay. So electrolytic capacitor or polarized capacitor. Here we have another polarized capacitor. Here also this is electrolytic capacitors, basically these capacitors also are polarized capacitors, okay? Here we have PF capacitors or ceramic capacitors, not polarized, okay? This is PF capacitors or picofarad capacitors. We call it PF because its capacity is in picofarad. Here we have basically an inductor or electromagnetic interference inductor. We find this kind of inductor in the power electronic board. Here we have power connector. Basically this is the input. Okay. The power for the motherboards it passes through this inductor or this electromagnetic interference okay here we have another inductor so usually the inductor in laptops has just two terminals okay so this is diode here we have pd means diode this is diode basically you can find diodes with two terminals or three terminals this is the sio or the super io or super input output as you can see okay Always near to the SIO, you will find a crystal oscillator, as you can see, with four terminals. Here, this is the ICH, or the search bridge. Here we have Y3, okay? Always Y or X is the reference designator for the crystal oscillator, okay? Y or X. As you can see here, we have another crystal oscillator. We have Y2, as you can see, next to the, to the frequency generator. Okay, this IC is the responsible to generate the timing or the clock for the whole motherboard or the whole circuit in the motherboard. So without this IC, the motherboard will not work properly. This IC synchronizes the working of the all circuits in the motherboard. Basically, this is the pin number one. Here we have this point. This dot means the pin number one. So here we have another crystal oscillator, as you can see we have Y5, okay, next to this IC. Here we have a fuse, as you can see we have F5, this is a fuse, okay, this is a fuse. Basically if you want to check the serviceability of this fuse, you can just use the multimeter. You can put the multimeter to the buzzer option, as you can see here. And then check the fuse with the multimeter props. If you hear a buzzer, means the fuse is good. If you don't hear any buzzer or you don't get any continuity or, or low resistance, means the fuse is bad. Here, basically, this is the BIOS, as you can see. Here we have the BIOS. Okay, there is many types of BIOS. This is one type of a BIOS, as you can see here, with many pins or terminals in both sides you will find above the bias always a pin as you can see 
a white paint or any color of paint okay so this is one type of bios i'm going to show you another type of bios with eight pins as you can see here this is eight pin diode we have as you can see this color here okay so usually this the bios you will find it near to the ich or to the sio okay so this kind of bios is is used in many motherboards this is the most used bios 8 pin bios so here we have u13 basically this is an ic here we have another fuse we have f means fuse f7 here we have u10 this is two ic's u refer to ic okay and q for the mosfet so this is the CMOS battery, as you can see, with 2.4 volt. As you can see, this is basically the CMOS battery. It has just two cables, a high and a low voltage. Here we have other ICs. Here we have PQ means this is MOSFET. Okay, and here this is a power management IC. Here we have two inductors, as you can see we have PL, always L or PL is for inductor. Here we have a ceramic capacitor or a PF capacitor. Okay? So we can use the multimeter to check to know the difference between inductor and ceramic capacitor. You should always differentiate between inductor and ceramic capacitor. So if you check the ceramic capacitor, you should not get a short or a basal in the multimeter you should not get a low resistance in the multimeter but for inductor exactly like a fuse if you check it using the multimeter you should you should get a low resistance or you should hear a basal as you can see in the multimeter we have about zero ohms low resistance means these inductors are good okay so here we have a very important IC. This is basically audio control IC. It controls the ports, as you can see, and controls also the speakers. Okay. So this is audio control IC. Here we have other ICs. This is USB controllers. This ICs control this USB port. If you find any failed port. You should check these ICs. If the port is good, is not damaged, then maybe the problem is in this IC near to the to the USB port. Okay, so this is this ICs, these two ICs, and here this is the VGA or video graphic. This is the VGA that we use to connect the screen or the monitor to the laptop here. This is the VGI control IC, as you can see. This is the VGA basically that we use to connect the screen to the laptop. If you have a problem with the VGA, maybe the IC is failed. This is the BIOS. So, as I told you before, always or usually the BIOS is near to the ICH and to the Super IO. Okay, as you can see. Here we have crystal oscillators, as we have seen before. So you can find the reference designator of crystal oscillator is Y or X. This is a CMOS battery, another CMOS battery in another motherboard. Here we have a chemical or a polarized capacitor. Okay, this is polarized capacitor. Here we have inductors. As you can see, this is inductors. Here we have chemical capacitors. So I will show you the the laptop component in many motherboards in order to go deeper into understanding the basics of laptop motherboard components here this is the screen connector as you can see this is a capacitor we have ic mosfets another ic as you can see here this is the battery connector as you can see this is the battery connector 